Hey guys, welcome back. So finally, finally, our most awaited Bitcoin Cash technical analysis. Finally, this baby woke up. So let's see, let me point out here first one thing. Let's go to the daily candles first. On the daily candles, the moving averages still did not cross bullish. So that bottom here, that low was not safe to be bought. As I always say, I prefer to miss the bottom, but enter when it's safe. Now the price went above moving averages on the daily, which means is that's a very, very good signal. However, you obviously don't want to FOMO into this now after we had this pump. I'm always saying this to, uh, to the guys on the premium group. You need to be okay watching it go up and controlling your FOMO. And then you need to be okay watching it go down and buy it when it comes down. So the volume is not impressive. It's uh, way above average. It's like double than average, but it's not impressive if we look at, uh, you know, other times in the past here. So I don't know how to take this. Some altcoins, a very few altcoins have a lot of volume, but some other altcoins have no volume. I'm go I, I think I'm going to start ignoring volume uh, for the time being because like volume is one single indicator then you have many others like five other indicators telling you something completely different so you need to go with the other five not with one single indicator so i'm going to be ignoring ignoring volume for the time being so what happened with this uh as i as i just said as i have been saying to members as well don't buy it on the way up you need to be okay watching it go up no matter how high it goes and then you you wait for the retracement and reevaluate if it's safe buying from there but you don't want to buy now because uh chances are it's gonna by the time it retraces it'll go much lower than the price is now or than the price it was yesterday or even the day before so these are the daily candles this is today's candle yesterday candle and two days ago so it likely it'll go down lower or at least the same level that was three days ago so no point buying now i mean nothing is for sure obviously nothing is guaranteed it can go from here to one million dollars as well but what are the chances for that right so i i'm getting this question a lot in the um, in the premium chat as well where to buy the dip where is the dip give me a target everybody is crazy uh waiting for targets to buy the dip guys i cannot give an a, an exact target for the dip yet because um the most the closest target i can give the most uh accurate yeah target i can i can give right now is wait for the price to be near moving averages and i say averages in plural because i don't know sometimes the price will you know will go and bounce on the 20 and sometimes it'll go and bounce on the 50 you can see here it's you just never know and people and people continue to ask well can you not do some more technical analysis for the target uh, on the you know the target down to buy the retracement well not yet guys because to uh to estimate where the retracement is going to be you need to wait first for it to top because the best tool to estimate a retracement it's called fibonacci retracement and you cannot use fibonacci retracement until you don't have a top until the top is not in so let me go to the four hours for now it's super extended the rsi it was extended on the daily as well so definitely not the time to buy it doesn't mean it's not going to go higher in fact it's starting to go sideways like it, maybe we will see another breakout it's fine you need to be okay watching it go up and waiting for it to come down so let's say it's uh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna make up here it's not i'm this is not a prediction let's just say it's gonna top at uh at two uh 1200 let's say it reverses here if it reverses at 1200 then you use the fibonacci tool here what is it from top from bottom to top let's say it tops at 1200 then you can use the Fibonacci tool and you will see the retracement down. But you cannot use this yet here because we are in the middle of the in the middle of, you know, in mid air still going up. There's no top showing yet. So it's not it just it's just a way a waste of time to try and use the Fibonacci retracement here until the top shows. Once the top shows, then you use the Fibonacci retracement and you place the top of the tool at the top 
of the you know where the price is showing at top and not only you use the fibonacci retracement tool but you also use support and resistance lines so wherever you see obvious support and resistance we have one support and resistance here we have one here we have one here you can see all of them are significant uh support and resistance points uh, but i guess if we are trying to guess the retracement let me delete this now because it's doing nothing here we would need to put support and resistance lines <clears throat> below the price because we want to try and guess the retracement so there's only one there maybe here okay so that would be my lines uh now we wait we wait uh, i'm gonna put one more down here yeah actually yeah actually this one makes quite a lot of sense it would make a lot of sense to come all the way down here by the time it finishes you know the retracement now you if you want you can draw these same lines on your own chart so you can monitor yourself when i'm not here and uh once this is showing a top i mean maybe the top is in but we don't know yet it, i don't think so because it's going sideways too much it's pushing up too much so it'll probably break out here so let's imagine it'll top at 1300 i'm not saying it's going to top there we don't know what it's going to top but let's just you know say it's going to top there then from bottom to where whatever it tops you use your fibonacci line to estimate the levels below and when you start well you should know the 50 percent the 38 50 and 60 uh, and uh, 61 are the most common ones so if you have look for example here the 61.8 it's uh more or less at the same level with with this significant support line here uh, which is at $850. So you would have one target there. It doesn't mean you have your buy order there. You wait for the price to get there. And when it's showing a bounce, then you go long if it bounces. But that's the technique. Uh, there's not much more I can say uh, when it comes to targets right now, guys. We need to wait for the top to show. Then use Fibonacci tools, uh, the Fibonacci tool and support and resistances. And then you evaluate from there. And if the fibonacci line the su the support line and the moving average one of the moving averages are at the same level then bang you have triple support there very very likely it'll bounce uh, also you ideally you want to look at the rsi as well but yeah basically i cannot give targets down uh, or up right now obviously it's not time to go up so i'm not even gonna waste the time uh trying to find the target up you just don't do that you wait in this case you would wait for a retracement so guys i hope this is clear and helpful uh, same technique applies for um, bitcoin uh bitcoin cash versus btc so you know <clears throat> here it's starting to uh to show a top actually versus btc so we actually had a reversal uh candlestick pattern here so let's see let's use the fibonacci retracement in this one from bottom to top okay let me delete this th these lines now and and now we can uh use uh some support and resistance lines and let's see if any of them will match with the fib lines so here th there's one exactly at the same level uh, and it's a 61.8 you see is the perfect support here the perfect resistance here and the perfect 61.8 line uh, in the four hours this would be uh, lower than the 20 period moving average let's switch to the daily and see if these lines match with the moving average here and uh, well right now it matches perfectly maybe by the time this gets down here the moving the 50 period moving average will be a little bit higher maybe the 20 will be close so and then we have another support here for the 78.6 which would be at the level of the 20 day moving average so these are the two targets down unless because i don't know yet if this is reversing or is just a stopping here on the four hours it looks more like a reversal the rsi come uh, came down as well so maybe for the four hours it'll retrace maybe to the 38 let's see if it's a valid uh support line the 38 and the 50. 
let's see what they are and they are perfect lines you see here how the price is exactly uh, respecting these two lines the 50 percent and the 38.2 it's just amazing how these tools work so for the four hours we might retrace to one of these two lines and you have the prices here uh, 0 0.1178 and 0 0.1123 so we might retrace uh, probably down here and bounce from there and have the last impulsive movement up I don't think it'll go much much higher than this uh, than this stop here before the big retracement but of course uh, by the time that on the day that by, by the time this reverses on the daily expect a big retracement you know however I wouldn't go long at this stage I mean the time to go to go long would have been after this breakout but it was still not safe uh, because we were still perfectly downtrending so it was more likely it'll, it was going to continue to go down that that's what I, I have been saying for for months now uh, you assume continuation until you are wrong so here you would have assumed continuation and you would have been wrong now you change your assessment and you and now we're turning into bullish for what it seems here of course it's not guaranteed yet but uh, that's what I can see for Bitcoin Cash so I hope it's clear guys that the short answer is don't FOMO into it uh, just let it go let it uh, let it top and then you buy the retracement and you can anticipate the retracement using Fibonacci retracement tool and support and resistance lines that's all I got for Bitcoin Cash guys uh, I'm happy that I finally uh, you know was able to to make a more positive uh, technical analysis for Bitcoin Cash I've been waiting for this for a long time many of you guys I know and if you guys want an update on Bitcoin BTC versus US dollar you can go and watch it from my website this one is not on YouTube but it's free and open for anyone to to watch from here from the website and if you want to get notifications whenever I put new videos on the website and not on YouTube just subscribe to this telegram channel uh, how many uh, subscribers we are now here by the way 917 every time I look we have more so guys welcome everybody and uh, yeah that's the video for today thanks for watching see you soon bye